Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog. I just figured I would film a little weekend in my life this weekend and i starting it off here. <laughs> Good morning. I literally just got bundled up because we're going to get coffee and food this morning. It's Saturday morning and it's currently, it's 10 o'clock, zero degrees out right now. It's literally so cold. Okay, well, it says two now, two degrees and it's freezing. So I'm all bundled up. I'm literally wearing a sweatshirt with a long sleeve under it, leggings, this aloe jacket, a hat, and I'm gonna put my Uggs on. <laughs> so cold guys i just got out of my laser appointment i go to this place called seaport med spa in boston if you're like looking to get laser hair removal this isn't sponsored i did go to a place for like over a year a little bit ago and i would like post about it and stuff when we had like a trade thing going on so i didn't have to pay for the laser and i went for like 12 sessions or like something insane and my hair like fully grew back and it was like I had never even gotten laser and I just like don't think that the machine that they were using like the laser was as strong as the one that I'm using now because I've only gone for three sessions and my hair is like completely gone and it's so good the place that I go to like I said it's not sponsored I like pay for this myself um, but I was like looking for a new place to get laser because it's just so easy not having to shave as much and I really like the place that I go to but anyway the heat like wasn't I guess when they got in this morning the girl was telling me that the heat just like wasn't on like they specifically put it up to like 70 last night so they could get to the office in the morning and it would be like really warm and I guess it just like wasn't on so I was like laying there <laughs> I was like freezing the whole entire time and then I, it felt so good to like put my clothes on and get all nice and warm and I am just like sitting in my car now. I need to go home because the cleaning ladies are coming today and it's like the first time that they are going to be cleaning the house because we got new cleaners and I'm really excited. And then after this, I think they're going to come like once a week and... I'm so excited just to have like the house be so 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 clean I did get two skincare products while I was in there I really like this moisturizer the Ulta MD skin recovery light moisturizer this is the one that I use and I need to stop like ordering skincare off of Amazon because sometimes I just feel like I don't trust it and I also got this Zo skin exfoliating polish so this is for like two to three times a week after I cleanse just to like gently exfoliate I heard that it's really good the girl that was working told me that it was really good and also I think I've gotten DMs from you guys telling me that that skincare is really it's like a really nice line but oh my god I just like cannot warm up I was gonna go into the seaport and get some new soap because i need hand soap for the house and i'm like i just can't do it today it's so cold so i'm gonna have to like go home and just order it <laughs> like on amazon or something because i feel just like lazy i don't want to be lazy because i have like stuff to do but it's just like i can't do it today i've just been getting like all of the surfaces clean and ready for the cleaners to come but like the problem is with our house is that we need like the deep clean so like the toilets, the floors, the shower, sinks, all that stuff. Like just the surfaces. And I put this little, like look at the dust, you guys. We have dust and dog hair everywhere, which is like really hard to keep up with. I vacuum, I think, every single day. And it's just a lot. But anyway, look at his little sweater. Because it's so cold up, but you don't like this sweater, but you look so cute. He hates it, but he's like been shivering. And I'm just trying to get this all cleaned off. I just have some more clothes to put away up here, right here. And then I didn't make the bed or anything this morning. I kind of just like fluffed the sheets because I love when the cleaners like clean, well, do the bed and like make it all tight. More clothes to put away. And then we just have 
look legit dust i vacuumed i'm not even kidding you guys yesterday or the day before it's just crazy like with two dogs it just gets so dirty anyway just trying to get everything all ready for them to come just got done washing all of the pieces of the couch the couch that i have downstairs is a slip cover couch so i'm able to take off like every single individual cover on the cushions and wash them and i swear this is like the first time in a really long time that they've come out looking brand new and i'm really excited to go downstairs and make the couch it just gets so dirty having dogs and obviously like a white couch but i want to show you guys what i used because i'm really happy with the way that it turned out and I literally put two scoops of this Branch Basics Oxygen Boost in the wash and then I put my normal detergent, an Arm & Hammer Sensitive Skin one, but this stuff right here is so good. It's supposed to like get rid of any stains and odors and it brightens your laundry and I just love Branch Basics products. I use all of their cleaning products. They're so good and they're also non-toxic. Okay, this part I feel like is the most difficult, like putting it back together. I'm gonna vacuum each cushion. I put this little attachment onto my vacuum and I'm just gonna vacuum like the bottoms and then also just like the top of the couch right here. finally done it was literally like a workout you guys trying to put this thing back together it takes so much energy but it looks so good and i didn't wash these two other pieces right here there's a blanket on top because max loves to sit on this spot and i just haven't cleaned it yet so i did get these blankets from target which they were like 10 bucks 20 bucks and they're so soft and also they actually hold up really well when you wash them. I have a few right here that I'm about to go throw in the wash. These were on this area of the couch. Like I put one on these cushions and then one right here just to make it a little bit easier on me when it comes to washing or like when it comes to keeping the couch clean. <laughs> it's like easy to just take the blankets off and wash those rather than taking the whole entire couch apart like you guys just saw. And I threw also these other pillows on top from Jenny Kane that I love just to add like a little bit more texture to the couch. I think that they're really cute. And that's what's up. We're waiting for the cleaner still. They're not here yet, but she just texted me and said that she'll be here in like 15 minutes. And I feel good because I have like so much stuff done and I'm just like got a lot of the other cleaning out of the way. So when it's time for them to come, they can just like do the deep clean the cleaners just left <laughs> guys it just is so nice everything is hi bb everything is just so clean like they got every little detail even around like the edges i mean the ends of the chairs all the chairs at the dining table all of these chairs they all have like hair because max sheds a lot so the little like circle things that go underneath your chairs like they have like sticky stuff on them and they literally would accumulate hair and they cleaned every single one of them and they did like a deep clean like the baseboards the windows everything <laughs> you could imagine and it just looks so nice and my favorite thing is the stove like i don't even want to cook because this is literally so clean and it just feels so good and I just feel so refreshed and yeah, I'll show you guys. I'm also downstairs 
because the downstairs is so clean. And it looks really, really nice. I don't know what to do because they ended up staying a little bit later and Mac and I went to Whole Foods to get stuff for dinner. I was gonna make smash burgers, which I probably will have to do tomorrow because we got hungry. It's 6.30 right now and we got just like takeout and had it a little bit ago. So I guess we're not gonna cook tonight, but I got like a bunch of stuff for breakfast in the morning, which is really nice. The guest room is all clean. Looks so good. I just got the dog stuff and it was so cold. Also, I started a bath. I don't know if you guys can really hear me, but I got a new robe in the mail yesterday. And I really like it because look how big it is, you guys. Like, it literally goes down to my ankles. It's like a hotel robe. And I love it. It's like waffle, and it's but it's fuzzy on the inside, and it says Shop Mine, which is this company that I use to link a bunch of products. I have them um, in the description of my videos, and they sent this to me. So if you guys are watching this vlog, thank you so much for this robe. I love it. I'm such a robe person, and I'm like never gonna take this off. And I also got some new tongue scrapers on Amazon. I recently got the copper ones, but they got really weird. And I just feel like the stainless ones like don't, like you can wash them and the copper ones got almost like, like they started to turn green, like a penny. And I got these, but you need a tongue scraper. If you don't have one, you need one. They are so, Beneficial for like digestion and keeping your breath nice and fresh and all of that and also um, What else was I gonna say about them? I just feel like it really changes the game like I will never go back to not using a tone scraper And I got a pack of two on Amazon. I think they were like ten dollars for the stainless steel ones and they're super easy to clean also I usually just throw mine in my dishwasher and clean it that way. We're gonna do some of this incense, which I love this brand. And I have used like different scents before in the past, like the lavender one. I just got this one also in a package and it is very grounding. So I love to do an incense when I'm in the bath and I do an Epsom salt bath. And I add a little bit of bubbles in it, which I'll show you guys. But I do wanna set this up just to get it started. And oh, I have Palo Santo literally everywhere. But I use this little thing right here and I'll just put one of the incense in it and light it. And it's so, makes you feel so grounded. It's like one of my favorite things about doing this. It's just the way that it makes me feel. I'm gonna lay a little bit of this also. And then for the bath, so I like to do the Necessaire body wash as my bubble bath. And I use the unscented one, well like the fragrance free. And I just add a little bit of it. And a little really goes a long way and it just gives you like the nicest bath and makes your skin very very soft I think that my towel warmer is my best purchase of 2022 <laughs> I swear everybody needs one of these in their life there's just like nothing like getting out of the shower and having a warm towel it reminds me of when I was little and my parents used to do that for me like after I would take a shower or a bath I would get out and I would like have a warm towel that they would wrap around me and it's just like so cozy. <sighs> it's literally like the best thing. Also, if you have need an idea of what to get, like your boyfriend for Valentine's Day, get him that because I swear it just like changes everything about when you take a shower. I have never felt so clean in my life. I literally didn't get to I didn't get to shower after my laser. And I just took like the best shower. I obviously washed my hair and everything, which I really needed to wash because last time I washed it was 
two days ago? Was it yesterday or the day before? It honestly might have been yesterday when I was at the gym. I feel like whenever I use their like shampoo and stuff, like I don't know, it like makes my hair weird. So it felt nice to like shower in my own shower, wash my hair. Ugh, and I need to do my skincare routine. My skin's just been something that honestly, I feel like, I, like I just don't even know what to say. At this point, I don't really actually have anything to say about it. I just like, I'm done getting facials because I think that that made my skin even worse. Like I used to just have like scarring and then I got a facial and I got like a laser facial. And then I swear after that I had all these breakouts and I don't know. I just like, I don't know what it is. I'm going to see a dermatologist, but it's just so frustrating because I like don't want to wear makeup at this time of year. Like I'd rather just like be pale and have like a fresh face, but it's like, and my skin looks like this and also I feel like I go on TikTok and it's just like everybody's like clear skin, you know? And it just like really bothers me and makes me feel frustrated. But I have a dermatologist appointment next month. <laughs> Literally in a month. But it's okay because I feel like it's gonna be worth it. Also in the past I feel like I've just tried to like fix my skin holistically and like because i know that it's probably my hormones and i don't know i just feel like i already did that once and then my skin's like this again so i'm just like i really don't know what to do at this point i'm gonna go to a dermatologist and see what they have to say but i don't know i hate talking about it because obviously like i talk about it a lot and i might sound like a broken record but it's just like something that i deal with every day and I do want to talk about it because I like want to be transparent just in case any of you guys watching are dealing with any skin issues or acne or anything like that just so you know that you're not alone because trust me I know what it feels like to go on social media and see just like everybody having clear skin and it's like not the best feeling so I just want to keep it real with you guys over here and let you know what I've been dealing with um, but wait, I need to go get my moisturizer because I got a new moisturizer. I just feel like I always get so many comments from people being like, you try so many different skincare products, like that's the reason why your skin's breaking out. But I really have been using <laughs> the same stuff on my skin for like three years. Like I've gone through periods of time where my skin's been like perfect and I've used these products. So I really don't think it has anything to do with that. Also, I've like seeing people on TikTok, like dermatologists talk about it and be like, yeah, sometimes it's not like what you're putting on your skin, it's like deeper than that. So I just wanted to put that out there because someone always says it and it's like, you should start, you should stop using so many different skincare products. I know I need to stop with the makeup, um, but I don't know. But if you're wondering what I use for skincare, I use Skin Better Science. It's a like medical grade skincare. This is the moisturizer that I use, Elta MD. On the lips, we have a Neige, but on my body, you guys, I've been using this, OC, OCA. I don't really know how to say it, but it's the Algae Body Butter, and it smells like grapefruit. It's so, so good, and it leaves your skin feeling so moisturized, and it doesn't, like make your skin feel um, very like tacky or heavy. It's just like very soft and nourishing and I really love it. Okay, we are all clean, moisturized, and I am gonna go lay in bed and relax and watch the, I think I'm gonna watch the Pamela Anderson <laughs> documentary. And I'm just gonna chill, hopefully. I can get enough of the documentary in, in time before my boyfriend gets back because he is gonna want to watch basketball. <laughs> and um, then I'll probably just sit on my phone. But anyway, tomorrow we have a busy day. I'm literally cleaning out my hairbrush right now. This is so gross. 
but busy day tomorrow. I want to clean my hairbrushes in the sink. I want to clean my makeup brushes. I want to clean out underneath the sink in the bathroom and clean out my little drawers and also organize my makeup drawers. I just have like a lot of stuff in them and it's like not organized at all. It's like been a while since I did like a deep clean of it all. So I wanna do that tomorrow. Good morning. gotta get a workout in or something because I didn't work out yesterday because I had laser and you're not allowed to work out for like 24 hours so I couldn't work out yesterday and I've been like trying to work out four times a week and that's my goal so we're heading to the gym right now I don't know what to do because I really don't want to bring this water bottle with me just because the top, like, I don't know. I want to bring one of my simple modern ones <laughs> because the top, like, screws on. But they're all in the dishwasher right now. Which, I mean, it's really not a big deal at all. Water's water. But I'm just, like, thinking out loud. I'm so glad that I started vlogging before I left the house because my camera's about to die. And I need to change the battery. Good morning, handsome boy outfit of the day for the gym i'm wearing my lululemon aligns and i have on these new sneakers that are from bandier they're the new balance 2002 r and i have these in a bunch of different colors like the gray pair that i always get so many questions about and those ones i got off of goat they're the protection pack in rain cloud like the gray new balances that i always wear those are the same style as the ones that i have on right now and i am just wearing a little shirt aloe bra i've been like obsessed with my lululemon leggings because i have like so many sets from aloe and i just feel like they don't fit like the pants just don't fit right so today i also want to go to lululemon and i want to just like look around because i haven't been there forever i want to uh, get some new leggings because i haven't gotten a new pair in a while like i have like a bunch of old aligns which literally have like pills in between the legs so it's bothering me i'm gonna go there today and look i also don't have any like jackets to work out in and i feel like i just always wear like a little crop shirt but i don't know i want like some zip up so we're just gonna go and see what they have and what we can find oh these are the sneakers that i was just talking about the i have these ones the 2002r protection pack I, these are i don't know what these ones are called but they're like the white ones and then these are the gray ones that i always get so many questions about i wear these so so much they're like so broken in i wear them legit every single day and i've been really into this long fuzzy coat from aloe but the one problem is is that since it's black there's like dog hair all over it because max's fur is like so light and i try so hard to lint roll it but it just honestly just doesn't work i don't know why I just got home we have a lot <laughs> to unpack i literally like didn't need to go shopping but ended up getting some stuff so i'll show you guys what i got but first we're gonna go for a walk we'll go for a walk Ready? 